um, I posted a video just now because it was very raw. The, the video wasn't supposed to be anything about that, but I got distracted and made me think of um, separation works or when people want to break up a marriage for whatever reason. Um, every so often there might be a justified reason. In my opinion, I'm not God, nor do I want his job. Um, but in my opinion, sometimes it is, um, from what I know, from what is shared with me, from what may come up on the or whatever the case may be, sometimes it may seem as if it's in everybody's interest for things to end. Um, and the, that video just kind of, I thought would have been, it was really raw. That's all I know is that it, it's hard to make me cry. But that was pretty close to it. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I get a lot of clients that think that somebody worked their marriage or, sorry, my phone is on low battery, um, or think that they are working their husband or their wife or whatever. And a lot of times, you know, and it's, hard, it's a hard pill to swallow, okay? It's hard to tell you guys as well that it's oftentimes it might be a cop out, okay? No separation work is going to work overnight to the point where they wake up and say, um, it's over, get out. No. This is real life, so things have to build up. It, my, magic will choose the path of least resistance, so it will choose where there's already an opening. Where there's already a weakness, it's going to go hard right there, okay? Um, but eight times out of ten, that takes money. It takes researching to find a good worker. It takes a few times of you know trial and error where they're not going to get it. Somebody will, somebody won't. Um, it's got to take a really determined person to do that. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, a lot of workers won't even take on. I'm talking marriages. I'm not talking a boyfriend and girlfriend. It's different once you're married. Um, sorry, <clears throat> but anyways. Um, so if you find a worker, yeah, there's, there's, you know, Brujos and Palo Mayombe does it. Oh, good. Um, you know, there, there are people that will do it. Honestly, even me, I haven't seen too many people that will work a real, real, you know, job to end a marriage. I've seen, you know, there's separation things we do here and there. There's things I know how to do. I prefer not to break up marriages, though. I, I'll tell you that, because that's, it feels ugly, you know what I mean? But um, when that does happen, or when you feel like that may be what's going to fly out of your mouth and that's what your heart's telling you is happening, there's very, very significant signs that will happen, okay? It can't just be because your partner left and they're not talking to you, because that happens all the time, you know? And usually, it's a bit of a cop-out because people don't want to see their part in driving somebody away, you know? You know how we don't know what we have till it's gone, whatever. Hang on, I gotta put my eyelashes on. Um, hang on. I fuck. Oh, motherfucker. You know, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um. Yeah, it's usually a huge cop-out, and for whatever reason that it's hard to see and see your faults, the longer you put it off and the longer you're pointing blame and finding a scapegoat, the longer it's going to take for you to get them back, okay? Usually, I know that there's whores out there, trust me, I know that there's whores out there that want married men. I know, I know some women that only like to fuck married men. I don't associate with them, I've been in the same room with them, and I make it really clear that I don't like them. I, I have a hard time hiding when I don't like somebody, just like I have a hard time hiding when I do. You know what I mean? I, there's nothing in me that can pretend to be something I'm not, you know? But I know that it exists. I know that it is possible, okay? But like I said, eight times out of ten, that's not really the case. I know that there's in-laws that don't like their daughter-in-laws or their son-in-laws or have somebody else in mind. And I know that most of, a lot of the time it is in-laws that get involved, especially the Hispanic. Um, in-laws that know and have a little more connections to this kind of stuff. Um, there we go. You know, so it is possible. It can be done. It does exist. I'm not saying it doesn't. But I'm just saying, 
a lot of liars out there, okay? There's a lot of people that say they're going to do something and then they don't do it. Or they make you think that so-and-so's worked and then you go and curse the poor girl that he's with or the poor guy that she's with thinking that that's the bitch or the guy that's worked you with your partner. And it's not always the case, okay? It's really, really important that you guys get honest with yourselves. Because the sooner you do that, the sooner you can work on that and then you probably can pull them in faster, okay? I know what I'm telling you guys. Um, my phone's gonna die too, I also know that. I got them. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> because that just starts a really bad cycle. Then that's you bringing negative energy onto yourself and you don't even realize it because you think you're justified because you think this person really fucked you over by cursing or working your husband or your wife and they didn't. So you're, you know, it, it's just, it wreaks havoc. I've seen it happen, I'm telling you. Your best bet is to do some heavy cleanses. First, you gotta get honest with yourself and figure out where you fucked up, what you may have done that pushed him away, where you failed to be the wife or the husband that you should have been, okay? Because it takes two. It, when my husband cheated on me, I, how could we let this happen? Not how could you do this? That's, that was how I did it, and he can vouch for that if he ever had to. Um, I, I shouldered that blame with him because I was being not a good wife. I wasn't out cheating, that's something I didn't do, but I wasn't being attentive, you know? So, anyways, um, the sooner you can do that, the sooner, there's baths for everything, okay? To kind of raise and balance out the imbalances. Um, there's a lot of things it could be, but like I said, most of the time, that's too much energy and money that people don't want to spend to get something like that done unless they really have a personal vendetta with you. Unless your in-laws really don't want you with, you know, their grown-ass kids, for whatever reason, um, most people won't do that, you know? And negative energy and like a candle is just going to cause a minor obstacle. It's not going to break uh, a marriage. It won't, unless the marriage is already weak as fuck to begin with. You know what I mean? So, I'm just saying, before you guys call and think that, because it's really hard to get your guys' mind frame away from that once it's there. Um... And I know it's, it's a, I get it. It's a way of protecting yourself. It hurts less to be able to say something like that. But if I didn't give a fuck, I would let you guys lie to yourselves and I would take your money and I would start the cycle. I'd lead the way, but I'm not going to do that. So having said that, um, yeah, if that's the position you're in, um, before you call me or we can do it together and we can work through it and try to, you know, find the root of the problem. Cause there's a root. There's always a root. Okay. Um, most workers can't pinpoint exactly where it may have come from because there's things we can do to hide the work. But we can pretty much give you a good region of it, you know what I mean? We can pretty much more or less kind of guide you in, in, you know, father's side, mother's side, is it an aunt, uncle? We can pretty much narrow it down pretty well for you to figure out the rest. I've only met one person that gives names. Um, one person. Oh! Other than that, and he, I don't even know how he does it, and I don't really care. But other than that, you know, it's, it's a pretty, it's a tricky situation. The best thing that you can do is work on you, and that will probably help a lot, okay? Before you guys think that people will waste their energy like that. I would hope not, unless the world's really changed. Okay, guys, um, be sure, you know what I mean? Be sure. If somebody's married, it's probably because they want to be married. You know, people do what they want to do, period. So if it wasn't yours first, it might not be your place or it may be not in the best interest to get involved in that. There's a lot of other things you can do, okay? I'm um, just saying, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, uh, based on what I've seen, what I see people go through, what I have gone through, um, it, it takes on a, a life of itself. It, it's, it becomes its own entity and it will haunt. If you get them, and you know, you logra traerlo para atrás, or to you, to get him away from his wife or whatever, and if there's kids involved, forget it. It becomes a strong force that will, it, it's like a shadow that will be over you for God knows how long. You won't enjoy what you get because you, you got it unfairly, okay? And that's, I mean, I'm going from personal experience, you know, it, it doesn't end good for any, have you guys ever seen The Little Mermaid? You know, and Ursula, she's all like showing people that she's done love spells for and how they end up all miserable. That's, there's truth to that, <laughs> unfortunately, when it's not yours. Binding, legally, contract before God, that's a whole other ballpark. When you're hurting innocents, which is kids, 
um, they've got seniority in the spirit world. You know, they're the closest to that. Um, you really got to think it through. Okay, guys. So I will be. I have a couple readings I did today. I'll post those up, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.